Hey everyone, it's Nicole here with Cellbotics, and as promised, I am here to do my 2024 goal planning with you, uh, and let's get right to it. So, personal items. Okay, so I usually have some categories. I did different categories this year. I'm trying to figure out what works best for me, what categories I like the most. So the first one was let go of 20 pounds. So <laughs> I know you like let go. I wish it was that easy just to let go of weight, right? It was, uh, about three or four years ago, uh, a, a physical, uh, like a health coach was like, stop saying lose because it's the word lose is like, you're letting something go that you don't want to let go of. And I was like, oh, well, she's like, just say let go. So I wanted to let go or lose 20 pounds uh, in 2023. I did not accomplish that. I actually lost or let go of 10 pounds and I have held it off, which I feel like is a huge accomplishment. And so you're going to see in 2024, I have moved this forward. Okay. Next is less food out, cook more at home. Now, this was definitely tied to being able to work from home. I, there is no possible way I was driving two hours each way, each day to the office, working all day on site, dealing with people, team members, customers, all sorts of things. So one time I had 35 staff in one building and then driving back home and cooking a full meal. It, it just, it just, listen, it just wasn't happening for me because I was just so inundated. I was working the weekends. I was, and then I had all the things like normal moms have cleaning, baseball games, events, just spending time with your child every day. Now, here we are, January, 2024. I have achieved that. I cook my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner at home. I love it. It's more healthy. And it's probably the reason I've been able to maintain the 10 pounds off. So I'm going to, I'm going to say, yes, I achieved that. Uh, no buying coffee out. Okay. This was a big one. I was buying food out because I was traveling so much every single day. And I just had, I mean, I was up at 4 a.m., sometimes 3.30 a.m. just to get ready to then get out the door and get to Atlanta and get in the office in time. Right. So I was going to Starbucks and yeah, I have the money. It's not that I don't have the money. It's not that I can't afford this, but it just seems so pointless where all of this money could have been going investments, you know, instead of to a freaking coffee, you know, a couple times a day, you know, and so done with buying coffee out. And I achieved that. I achieved that. I no longer purchase coffee outside of my home. Buy less clothing. I did this in 2023. I did this. I had a very big shopping addiction. Let me tell you, I loved clothes and I would buy them and never wear them. I also went through my closet and if I hadn't wore anything in a year, I donated it. That was life changing. I watched a YouTube video about that and decluttering and it was my closet was the biggest thing for me game changer. You guys should really look into that. Link the video below that I watched. Um, but yeah, if you haven't touched it in a year, donate it. And it's, it's just life changing. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say yes. Okay. Eat out only one time a week. I, d I don't feel like I achieved this in the beginning of the year because I was still going to Atlanta. So I'm going to put no, but I definitely going to move this to 2024. See the Milky Way. Man, okay. I try not to get emotional about some of this stuff. Some of this stuff is going to be hard for me not to get emotional about. Um, so probably for the past five years, I've wanted to go see the Milky Way, like go somewhere in the United States that's really dark and you can view the Milky Way in the sky, right? To be honest, I mean, that's what I'm doing here, right? I've always wanted uh, someone that I'm seeing like a man, right? To take me because I'm afraid to go in the dark into the desert by myself. <laughs> that, that's, that is the truth. So it's nobody's fault, but my own. I should be brave enough to go on my own, just have some safety precautions. And then here. So a uh, mental note, if the guys that are watching, because I know that a lot of my audience is guys, uh, because, you know, I'm in the tech industry. If your woman is dropping little hints saying, hey, I would really love to do this, it probably means more to her than what you think. Just do it. Just get on Google how to do this, you know, <laughs> make a plan and surprise her. Okay, the next one, this is going to seem so silly. Go to Ikea. Okay, let's shift gears a little bit out of the personal realm and get into business. So 
go fully work from home. I did that thing. I did it. It was freaking hard. Let me tell you, it is still hard, but I am doing it and it is going to get better and better and better. Allow my team to work from home. I can tell you what, in the beginning of 2023, one of my main, when I made this, my main thought was uh, oh, a girl named Tabitha who worked for me at the time. She has six kids. And it was like, I wanted her to be able to work from home. Like, I don't even know why I cared about it so much. Like, it meant something to me to be able to give her the ability to work from home. She no longer works for me. She did leave. Um, she went off to be a full-time mom. Super happy for her. But it was like in me, like I want her to be able to work from home and make money from home, something that I never could do. And I lost time with my daughter because of it. Um, and I did achieve that. She was working totally from home, uh, but uh, she just decided to go in another direction. And that's fine. That happens in life. N no one stays with you forever. So no hard feelings. She She's absolutely amazing. Gain six new depot clients. So my uh, learning management system is for facilities and retail and individuals. So we have this white label training platform specifically for depots, which are like facilities that process mass volume. And so in 2023, I wanted to get six new clients. I didn't do that, but I got three. So I did three. Okay. So I did half, you know, I, I feel like that was good. I'm proud of myself. It's not convincing people that they need training and their team need training. It, it needs training is not always like the easiest thing to do. And so I'm proud of myself that I got three new facility clients uh, in 2023. The next one, get a new large volume B2B repair client. Okay. So my main B2B repair client for Chromebooks went into bankruptcy and owed me a bunch of money. It was, it was really traumatic. And I really wanted to get another large client. Um, but unfortunately, I did not succeed at that. Now, I say unfortunately, but really is it unfortunate? Because if I would have got another big client, I still would be driving to Atlanta or, you know, maybe could have found someone to, to just maintain that. I actually did. And Michelle, you know, would maintain a lot of the team and all of that process. So I still could work from home, but I'd still be driving to Atlanta a couple of days a week. So I say no here. It's, you know, I, the only thing that I feel bad for is all the technicians that I had to let go of. And they still call me to this day asking me, can I come back? You know, they, um, they say that they loved working in the office. It was a positive atmosphere. Um, bought lunch all the time, constantly gave bonuses, constantly give words of affirmation. I would coach and employees on like, you know, their own, like goals in life. Like one of them wanted to open a t-shirt business. Like I totally helped him like figure out what different softwares he could use, drop shipping, designs, how to do uh, just everything, right? Every, everything I could do to help him with his business. Um, and it's just sad that they don't have somewhere to go back to um, that they love so much to go to work to every day. That's the only uh, downfall of that. Uh, the next one, closed Atlanta location. And I did that officially two months ago. So that is done. Let me get a drink of water out of my Santa cup. I want to drink out of glass more and not so much plastic. And I did not put that on my 2024 list, but I need to add that because that is actually one of my goals this year. And I, that's why I'm drinking out of a glass cup. So she got a water machine and I am going to stop drinking out of all these plastic bottles all the time. Okay. So, so close the Atlanta location. I did that. I did that. It's closed. We are, we have training in Philadelphia with Shura Ward, an amazing freaking trainer, way better than I ever was. I love her. She's awesome. I work with students every day still. I'm still, I'm still, I mean, I'm in so right? I mean, I'm in this, but it's just awesome to have someone that also loves it as much as I do. And then is also in it. And then is training the classes. So it's great. Next. If I can give the task away, give it away. This is my motto now. Yes, 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 yes. I did this. Yes, I did this. This is my motto. If I get a task and it can be given away, it is going to my team. I I don't do Monday ta mundane repetitive tasks anymore. I focus on higher level things and relationships because I have finally figured out what it is. Building a successful business is really relationships. 
if it's customers, B2B, networking in your industry, it is really just making sure that you are offering an amazing service, that your customers are happy, that they feel like they're a part of something, that they feel valued when they walk in your doors. And that's what I focus on. So mm, I did that. And I am so proud of myself because where I came from in my business journey, I did it all. Okay. When I first started my business, I did everything. I had no staff, no support at all. And to come all the way to where something is given to me and I'm like, mm, nope, that goes to her. Mm, nope, that goes to him. Mm. And I create training. I record myself doing it. I do a call with them, make sure they know how to do it, hand it off. I'll put some reminders of when I should audit. And then bam. I mean, I've got a system worked out for giving away tasks. Okay. So Let's go ahead and get into our 2024 theme of this year, putting myself first and realizing my value. Business, uh, grow LinkedIn following to 30,000. So right now it's at 12,000, okay? But I wholeheartedly believe that getting to 30,000 is achievable if I do consistent content and value content. Like people really want to hear about what I have to say and the things that I'm talking about matter. So this is on top of growing the following, the behind the following is just making sure that I'm actually putting out things that people need. Um, and so that is a big thing this year. Uh, grow YouTube to 30,000. If you are watching uh, still, uh, th you need to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. You have no idea. You're going to watch this channel grow and, you know, grow with me. I'm excited for you and me to see where this actually goes. Again, it's not just about growing the numbers. It's about the content that I'm putting out. I'm trying to change, not change my content, but Make it for a wider range of people. Still focusing on, hey, you can get into the electronics repair business, but then just business in general, life in general, things like that. Get one client for Footpath Academy. So Footpath Academy is something that I've been working on for three or four years now. Um, it is something that is actually a cause for me. It's a, uh, I'm passionate about it. It is a platform that we have that helps lower recidivism by teaching life skills. Everything from pumping a gas to buying peanut butter is in this platform. And I know that when someone is released after being in prison for over 10 years, it's kind of the threshold. Like if you've been in prison for eight to 10 years or longer, this platform could help you because when you're released, you get a lot of anxiety because there's just so much that is developed in the world. If you think back eight years ago, things that are different right now and um, someone that would have been imprisoned eight or 10 years ago, think of how much they've missed. Okay. And so it creates a lot of anxiety which on top of being, you know, having a hard time finding income and housing, it can cause them to reoffend, And that doesn't help any of us. Okay. Uh, I, I've, I've personally never been incarcerated, but I have family that has, and it's always been like sad because I know them personally, like such good people, but then they just make these bad choices, but then they struggle so much in life. And so it, you know what I mean? Like it's, 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 it's all, you know, I have an uncle that, um, was in prison quite often and I just, he was a great person and I don't know why he would keep ending up in these places. And so this is me trying to find a way to help and give back. Um, so I need to get uh, one client for Footpath this year and my clients are prisons. And so prisons lease this software from us and they allow the inmates to watch it prior to release. So about six to eight months prior to release, they would get up on these videos and then they would also stay access six months after released. So then if they need help, like how to use the public transit sy system, how to buy a flight, an airline ticket, what's Airbnb, what's Uber, right? I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, what's Turo, you know, you need a car, you can rent a car, you know, like, all these things are on there and they can have access to it even after they leave. And people say, well, why don't you just use YouTube? Well, you can't watch YouTube in prison legally through the computer system. They need something safe that's got triggers taken out. And so this is what this software is. The software is amazing. Get three new facility clients for the LMS. So I talked about my depot learning management system, right? I've also got this, this, this LMS with Repairs First Association that helps the retail stores, which is absolutely amazing. Repairs First is growing substantially because naturally they would, they, they help so many shops. Like why wouldn't they grow? Right? So I want to get three more facility clients, those three from 2023 that I did not get. Do three videos a week of content. I am 
I'm already full, full gear doing that. If you're a, if you're a regular subscriber, you've probably realized that I have more content now. Um, help 120 new people enter the repair industry. So I want to train 120 new people in person in Philly, how to do repair and own a repair business. So that's my goal for this year. Um, of course you can learn online. So we help way more people than that online because they can just go online buy the course and do self paced but we would like to have 120 students come through our class this year. So I'm excited for that. Make a wider range of content. I'm doing that. Start a series to individually help people live on YouTube to plan their business opening, which I'm super stoked about. Almost done with the forms. So if you're, well, depending on when you're watching this, it may already be launched. But yeah, so I am going to be helping people understand their finances and everything, go over how to get out of debt, how to save to open their business, how to change the, what time they need to set aside, how to edit their schedule, like everything to open their business. So I'm super excited about that. And I'm sure that will change as I start to help people because I'll have a better understanding. You know, I, I mean, I've been helping people, but I mean, helping people live, I'll have a better understanding of how it all works as I start to help people. So if you're interested in getting help like this, it's totally free if you let me help you on YouTube. Uh, and um, I'll put some links below. So then you can fill out the questionnaire to get me to contact you. And then we will do a YouTube session. Finances. And we are almost done, guys. Hang in there. Okay. Hit that like and subscribe. Pay off my daughter's car. So um, I did give my daughter a new car, uh, which I was using. And then I got me a different car. Uh, but I want to pay it off for her. It's like my gift to her. Her father did pass away when she was three. And I know that he would want this for her. A good car that's going to last her a long time. It's the one thing that I can do, you know, I want to pay that off. Stick to a strict monthly business budget. So I do budget. I budget personally and business. This year, I want to challenge myself. I'm going to make a strict budget with a lot of investing and I'm going to see how hard it is to stick to it. So <laughs> this is a test for myself. Turn off cards with a lower than a thousand dollar credit line. So we have a lot of credit cards. They're not full or anything. They're just kind of there and you can, you, I can use them whenever needed. And I'm like, I don't really need these. Uh, I like the higher limit cards. I can use them for more important things. And, you know, when you have a business, you know, somebody's going to buy inventory, but you know, you want to, you don't want to just use cash flow for that. You use debt. Right. And the smaller cards just are, they just seem pointless to me. So I'm going to turn those off. Um, add one new business revenue stream for $5,000 a month. So that's a big goal for me. I have a lot of things in the works, but I want it to be a new, brand new business revenue stream, $5,000 a month. So, so that is my goals uh, from 2023 to 2024. What are yours? If you've listened this long, you're freaking amazing. And I hope that you stay watching this channel. Comment below. Would you like to see other content from me? Check out the links below and you guys have a great year.